Welcome to this video where today we'll be talking about the Trim Entities feature in SolidWorks. I have a very arbitrary sketch of just a bunch of lines to demonstrate how this works. My personal favorite is the Power Trim and all I have to do is if I want to get rid of a line I push my left click down and hold it and I drag it across anything that I want to delete and it gets rid of it. Notice I have a full line here from point to point but when I power trim, it only gets rid of the line till the next intersection. So it, become, it can become very handy because if I wanted to say, make a Pac-Man in SolidWorks, there's Pac-Man, then I can just use the power trim to get rid of only that one feature. Now, moving on to the corner, this is a cool feature because it can take two lines that don't intersect and make them intersect. It can actually add lines as well as take lines away. So if I want to say have this line form a corner with this line, it will extend them. And that can become very useful because if I draw a line in SolidWorks and then I draw another collinear line on top of that, SolidWorks can get kind of confused with mentioning those two lines and it can throw off some constraining and dimensioning that you might want to do. So talking about the corner function some more, uh, we can also take material away. For instance, if I want this line to intersect with this line, it'll get rid of this point. All I select is the two points, and it got rid of that line. Skipping ahead to the trim along inside function, or I'm sorry, trim away inside function, this is a cool feature where you can select two lines and then I'll say SolidWorks I want you to delete whatever I choose that runs in between these two lines. So if I choose this line, maybe it didn't hear me, if I choose this line, there we go, it deletes only the part that runs inside of those two lines. Same here and same here. Now there are some rules. I have to have a line that either intersects both of the lines or doesn't intersect either one. For instance, if I choose this line, it gives me a message that says it cannot be deleted because it must intersect either both or none. So if I draw a line that goes through none and I want to trim that with my trim away inside, I can certainly do that because it doesn't intersect. Whoops, I have to select both of my lines again. I can certainly trim if it will listen to me. There we go. I can certainly trim away this line here because it doesn't intersect either one. Now, presumably, trim away outside is very similar to trim away inside. On this one, I choose two lines, and I whatever I choose that intersects either both or none will be deleted on the outside of the lines, but the inside remains. And then uh, you'll notice that if I choose something on the inside, it doesn't get deleted. A little quirk that I found with SolidWorks is that whenever I choose a line that doesn't intersect either one, it does get deleted. I don't know why it does that, because it's on the inside when we want to delete the outside. You should also observe that the same rule applies. There we go. The same rule applies that when I've got my two lines selected, if it intersects only one, it cannot be deleted. But any line on the outside of the two lines that doesn't intersect can be deleted by this function. Skipping ahead again to the trim to closest function, uh, this is a lot like the power trim, but instead of drawing a line through it, you simply click on the line and it gets rid of the places where it intersects. Much like the power trim, Give an example of a power trim too, just draw a line through it, draw a line through it. But that is all of your trim functions. If any part of this video wasn't clear or you'd like to have a further explanation, you can email me at jocoengineeringhelp at gmail.com here. Or you can uh, go to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash jocoengineering here. 
Please subscribe if this was of any help to you, because that's how you can help me back, and I will see you next time.